Hey, what's up, guys? Sean here from Plus Two Souls. So, you guys saw our match video between the Tsugumichi Toge deck versus my mixed uh, Nisukoi deck, basically a competitive build that I'm aiming for. Now, um, I built the deck and I like it, but there's actually one thing I didn't like about the deck, and um, I wanted to talk about that as well as what the cards I use in the deck for in that match video. So I wanted to show you a deck profile at the right now. Again, I'm still building the deck right now. I'm still trying to figure out what's good, what's not good in the deck. And um, I did find one thing that's not good in the deck. I mean, it's a really, really good card, but it's just not working in the deck at all. So um, I wanted to talk about that and basically to show you guys what I use for that matchup. So let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, so starting at level 0, I'm running two of these, Marikas. Basically, it's a 002k. Um, the first effect is basically if you have no other characters on the field, it gets plus 2k. So it becomes a 4k beater. So, um, yeah, I should be running more of these. But um, I just couldn't find room because I needed the other cards as well. But um, there's a possibility I might add, actually add a third one. Um, still not sure yet, but we'll see what happens there. And um, the second effect is pay one, draw one, discard a card. Um, I love these effects. These effects are really good. Helps pay out climaxes. Helps fix your handout. Um, a lot of players like just don't look at this card as a really good... Um, not a drawback, but uh, a really good alternative because... Um, the effect is that if one pay one ditch of a draw card, ditch a card is really, really, really good. And like I said, it helps you fix your cards. It helps out pay out climaxes and stuff like that. So um, not only that, this card is a beater. So this card's really good. I mean, Nisekoi just loved... They, they just like threw like two great effects together into one card and make it a really good card. So definitely this is a really, really good card if you want to play it competitively. Um, definitely, I'm... Like I said, I'm thinking of running the third one, but not too sure yet. I got to see how that ha um, works out with my um, uh, this build or more like what to uh, replace other cards with kind of thing. So definitely this is a really good card you guys should think of running. So we have definitely a card that you need in any kind of deck. Um, this card here the running suicider is just way too good uh basically it's a suicider and it runs to the center stage the middle center stage um basically it's a zero to 15 and um it's like i said like nisa quite loves to put two great effects together into one card and that's what they did here as well and um the running suicider like in order to kill this when it's alone on the field you need you basically need to put a card in front of it and a card in your cent middle center stage because if this card runs to the center middle center stage then it's going to go against another card because it only could run you know to the center stage so definitely that's a one way to kill it or obviously like if they don't run then you kill it kind of thing but definitely this is a card um, you need to run in your Nisukoi deck like doesn't matter what kind of deck but unless you want to go, you know, waifu build, and de of, of course don't run this, but definitely this is a card to run in your competitive Nisekoi deck. This card is way too good not to run. I mean, if other decks, I mean, if other sets had this, this kind of effect, like two effects in one kind of thing, then yeah, I run that instead of a regular Suicider. I run four of those. Next, we have the Marika PR. Uh, this is probably the best PR card out of all of them um, in the box promos. Uh, well, that's what I think, but first effect is basically a top check look at the top card of your deck um, you can either leave it on top or send it to the waiting room up to you uh, the other effect is pay one um, with it when this card plays for hand to stage you can pay the cost if you do um, basically salvage a yakso can append on basically the event card and um, that event card is very very important in your deck and there's a lot of cards that actually salvage it so this is one of them I'm um, definitely a really good one uh, yeah, all the other cards do, uh, all the other promo cards do search, I mean, or salvage the event card, but this one had that top check ability, so it's really good. Um, I'm actually thinking of taking this out, um, surprisingly, but um, I also do want to keep it in because that top check ability r really, really helps. Um, the reason being is because of a level 1 card I have, um, I'll tell you guys, I'll talk about that later, but um, definitely this is a card I want to keep, but at the same time, I might have to take out just because. But, um, well, like I said, I still haven't decided yet, so I'm still going to test on uh, test play stuff, so 
definitely something I want to really keep in my deck. Um, next we have this Searcher, uh, Onodera here. Onodera has two Searchers. One of them is a regular Searcher, pay one, draw, uh, pay one Search, ditch a card. Oh, I'm sorry, pay one, ditch a card, Search. And then this one here is basically the same thing, but you have to have Yaxo Kinependental in your memory. Now, um, in order to do that, you have to have a, a, two of them in your memory. So basically, you have to have two Yaxo Kinependental in memory. Um, yeah. Uh, that's a lot, and especially for a level zero. But the thing is, you don't really want to use it during that. Uh, basically, like it's telling you use this during late game, like mid game kind of thing. Like search out at level one or search out at level two, so you can get your level threes out. And that's what I actually do. So um, definitely, this is a card that you should be running because um, not only that, it has a, another effect where um, it allows you to basically gain 2k on your opponent's turn if they have 3 or uh, less character cards on the field. So um, basically it becomes a huge wall for them to kill. So in order to kill this, like they have to have, like suicide or they have to at least get 4k. So definitely um, something you should think of running in your deck. Um, I'm not actually not running the, the green searcher at all. Um, I thought maybe if I had too many searchers in deck, um, it was just like clog up my hand or clog up my deck anyway so like I thought you know this is just fine like it helps me pay one as well I mean all I have to do is have two mem two cards in memory but um, that's also a hard part too but definitely the reason why I, r r I run this is because of the first effect because it, it becomes a huge wall and um, it has a search ability and like I said Nisekoi just loves to attach two abilities together um, definitely, you can either run this or the other, the green searcher. Up to you guys, personal preference. Like I think this is a really good card. That's why I ran it. Next, we have the brainstormer. This is definitely the better one. Uh, the Chitoge one that gives plus two k, or I think plus one k. I don't I don't remember. But uh, definitely, this is the better one because uh, you search a key character if you tap two characters. Um, not only that, uh, when this card attacks, give plus one k to a character for the turn. A key character for the turn so definitely this is really good because you can just do ha huh, uh, attack plus 1k over here kind of thing but um, definitely um, the best brainstormer in the set either right now next we have this Raku here I think this Raku is really good uh, yeah it's only 0 15 and um, it's a support as well because it gives plus 500 to all your key characters, which is basically most of your deck except for Tsugumi's and uh, what's her name, uh, Rudy. Uh, definitely a really good card. Um, the second ability is basically ditch a card from hand and uh, salvage a Yakuza Kunipenato. Now this is really good to get rid of climaxes in your hand, like uh, when you really need to. Like for example, you're about to refresh um, after your attacks. After like three, you're you're gonna attack three times. And you have three cards left in deck. Definitely a good card to salvage out um, a Yaxo Independento because you have a Climax in hand. You want to get rid of that. So uh, I want to get this Climax back in, in my deck. So I'll just use this Raku card, ditch a Climax, salvage a Yaxo Independento kind of thing. And yes, you could miss. So you can just get rid of that um, the Pendant. I'm mean, not Pendant. You can just get rid of the Climax and just miss for the, uh, the salvage. So a really good card. So uh, my level 0 game is basically a utility um, I was gonna go for like the um, the what do you call it the buff cards or like defensive cards, but I thought you know utility might be uh, the best way to go for new Sequoia, so that's why I decided to go. That's why I have a whole bunch of utility um, support card or like uh, utility cards here. Um, I basically um, bank on this Marika card and on uh, the Suiciders to kill my opponent's cards, kind of thing. So definitely something um, to what do you call it to think about if you for new Sequoia. Next we have um, these 1-0 Marikas here, really, really good card, combos with uh, the Gate Climax, which I'll show you guys later, um, or you know, I'll just show it to you now, forget it, this combos with this Gate Climax, not Gate, I'm sorry, Comeback Climax, uh, co uh, basically combos with this, um, so it's a 1-0 5k base, and uh, when this card reverses the character in front, and you have the Climax combo on the field, um, you basically basically you get to salvage a, a character card, any character card, and that's like really really good. I mean, if you have the climax on, this becomes one zero six k. I mean, kill level zero cards definitely you get your salvage. Uh, how do you kill level one cards? Basically, to get support and like buff it up somehow. 
Um, definitely a really, really good card. Uh, you sh this is a card that you should be running in your competitive Nisa Koi deck. This like, helps you plus hand. Next we have the One Zero Suicider. I'm actually thinking of running another one. I'm running three right now. I'm also thinking of running another one of these. Um, I'll tell you guys why. Um, just give me after um, I explain a couple more cards. I'll show you. I'll tell you guys why. But um, basically, this becomes a One Zero Suicider when um, you have a Yuxo Independent in memory. So only at least one in memory. This becomes a level one Suicider, which um, is not that hard at all. Just use the event and get the suicide effect. You can use you can use any of them during your turn or you can use it during your opponent's turn, for example the blue one, which is my favorite. Um, the second effect is you have to do it, it's, a, it's an auto ability. Um, basically when this card plays from hand to stage, you have to top check if it is a key character put it in your hand and then digit card to the waiting room. So um, basically a hand fix as well, um, but the only problem is that you have to do it, so that's like I kind of don't want to, but I have to. But at the same time, it's still great. You can just get rid of um, cards off your deck and then, you know, get get rid of a climax in your hand if you don't need it anymore kind of thing. So definitely a great hand fix. Like lots of hand fixing cards, utility cards in this set as well. Next we have the Chitoga here, the support. Um, this is probably one of my favorite supports in this set. It's a 1-0 uh, 4K support. Basically it gives plus 500 to all your key characters. And then the second ability is as long as you have a Yakusoku Independent in memory, two or more of them, um, you get plus 500 in front of this card. So basically you have um, Yakusoku uh, Dependent in memory, you have a card in front. This gives plus 500 plus another 500 if you have that pendant in memory. So really, really good support. Uh, this is something you should be running in your deck as well. Next we have this Onodera. I, go, I like to call it Time Machine Onodera because it's basically Time Machine Miku. Now, um, it combos with the 2K one, so exactly the same. So it's a 105K. Um, during your Encore step, if you have this Climax in your Climax zone, you can send this to memory, and then be the beginning of your next draw phase, you can bring this back out and give it plus three, 35 for the turn. Now, really, really great card, but here's the thing. This is actually the card I'm thinking of taking it out. Um, the reason being is because I don't think I've ever used it in a game, or more like, I haven't used it because I just don't think it runs well like I just did, haven't used it at all in a game before so um, definitely this is the card I'm going to take out like I'm already 100% set up to take this card out along with the climax maybe 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 climax I like 2k1 so um, it, de it really depends on what I want to take out right now but um, this is definitely something I'm going to be taking out climax I'm not sure yet because I do like the 2k1s but um like I said, this is just like, I'm not playing it at all. It's just not helping me out. Um, definitely, I'm probably going to increase more level 1s, like the Suicider or the one Zero Marika. Uh, maybe put in another one, like the one Zero Onodera, like for example, this one right here. I'm thinking of running this right here, um, because uh, it gets plus 500 for each key or sports character on the field, and plus it has a clock encore. A uh, really, really great card. And then... Um, the reason why I said I was going to take out the PR Marika is because of the Rui that bonds to this, which is, uh, where is it? I have, I have it somewhere. Give me one second. Right here. This, uh, this Rui here. Um, basically this is, um, the bonder to that. So definitely this is something that you could, uh, run on a competitive deck. So definitely, um, I'm thinking about doing that. But again, I want to keep that PR Marika in the deck. So definitely... I'm actually having a huge debate right now, but definitely I really really want to take this card out. I'm just trying to look for better alternatives right now. So um, definitely uh, I'm going to be taking this out. Uh, again, this is personal preference. Um, I really thought this card was really really good. I mean, I thought Hatsune Miku, uh, Time Machine Miku was really good in the first place. So was, you know, I'm like, you know what? This might work for Nisekoi, but again, it does. I don't think it works out for competitive wise. But definitely, this is a card to run in your Onodera slash uh, Ludi decks, or maybe like pure Ludi. Uh, no, I'm sorry, pure Onodera decks, definitely. But I don't think in competitive wise, this is something good. Maybe I, I mean, I could. It's, it, that could just be me, but definitely, um, when I played it, I didn't like it. So, again, it's personal preference, definitely. But this is a card I'm. I will be taking out in my out of my deck. 
Next we have the pendant. Uh, I'm I should be, oh there you go three. I run in three of these blue ones. Definitely my favorite pendant. I use it all the time during my opponent's phase or during my phase on my turn, my opponent's turn kind of thing. Um, basically go counter memory kind of thing, 3k counter, um, definitely a really good one. I can use that during my turn too because it's an event. So I'll be like, uh, if I don't have a memory, a card in memory or a dependent in memory and I have the one zero suicider out, I'll, I can be like, uh, plus 3k here, give the suicide effect as an attack kind of thing. Definitely a card that you should be running in your deck. Definitely my favorite and the best, in my opinion. <laughs> um, I'm also running the red one. Uh, I actually rarely use this card. Um, the reason being is because my back row is always tapped because of the brainstorm. Um, not only that, I have other effects too, like for example level 3, but uh, I, I'm, I'm most likely not going to be using brainstorm at level 3 anyways, but definitely this is a card that I rarely use. It's not just because I have one of them, it's just like I, I can't use it because I already tapped my cards. But um, definitely still a great card. I'm, I'm just running one just in case kind of thing. If I have it at level 3, use it. Um, definitely a really, really good card. It's just that I, I don't have the situations to use it because, like I said, I have my cards tapped in the back row. And obviously, I don't want to tap my front row cards. But uh, definitely, I'm running one just in case. So um, three and one. Because a lot of people were like, what, you can't you can't run 3-3 three, three and stuff like that? No, 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 you can't do that. They're the same card name. You only have four copies of the same name in your deck. Remember that, guys. That's cheating if you put, uh, like, six of the same cards and <laughs> with the same name. I know they have different art and effects, but same name, guys. Um, next, we have a 2-1 uh, 7K free re refresh slash draw card. Now, um, now... Oh, I forgot, I forgot to explain what this card does, actually. I'm sorry. Um, basically, you rest two of your standing characters, and you get to uh, salvage two character cards, and then uh, ditch a card, and then s send it to memory. That's basically the effect. Um, next, we have the 2-1 um, 7k uh, refresh card, Onodera. Basically, uh, when this card is placed from hand on the stage, and you have five or less cards in your uh, deck, Take that entire deck, put it into your waiting room, and then shuffle your deck and draw a card. Now, um, if you tap two key characters as well, you can give one of your characters plus 2k for the turn. So, um, this is also a reason why um, I don't use this as much because there are times when I do use this and I use that, I, I want to give that plus 2k to somewhere because um, I need to kill something. But uh, there are times when I don't use it, and basically I can use this. So, definitely, um, I have options. But um, really good card, helps you refresh, uh, you don't have to take that damage, but instead of taking damage you get to draw a card, hand plus again, lots of hand plusing in this in this deck. Next we have level 3's, oh by the way, um, yeah these are, this is like my only level 2 card, but I actually have a level 2 game, it's the Onodera, uh, this is a sign card, very nice isn't it? Jealous, haha. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is a 3-2 Onodera. Um, if you have two or more uh, pendants in your memory, this gets minus one level in your hand, and you can play it at level two. Uh, the second ability is basically gets plus one K. If you have uh, two or more key characters on the field, then when this card is played from hand to stage, you can actually do a free search for a key character and put it into your hand. Now, just to play this, you just play this card and get a free search. That's like super, super good. It's like I don't have to pay anything. I'm I'm basically playing two to bring this out and just get a free search. That's like really, really good. So definitely, you can set up your level three game with this. I mean, you can search out herself with this. Like search out this and bring out another level three um Onodera out. So really, really good card. Um, unfortunately, I'm only running one. I'm thinking of going two. So um, the card I'm thinking of taking out is probably a Marika just because um, I don't think you need four Marikas but I'm not running four though but definitely I'm thinking of taking out a Marika just to put in an extra one for this. Next we have the Chitoge here, the level 3 Chitoge. A really good card, um, combos with the level 3 Marika. Um, we'll talk about that. Um, basically it heals when you play from hand to stage. The second ability is uh, pay one, arrest two character cards. Uh, gives this card plus 2k and it get the following ability when this reverses a card in front You can top deck that card so basically you can guarantee a damage and that's where this Marika comes in. I run three f f 
Um, th like I said, I'm thinking I'm taking out one. But um, that's where the combo comes in. You top deck, then you attack with this because you have a uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, two or more uh, pendants in your memory. And because you do, you can like deal one damage, a burn damage when this card attacks. So like basically, oh top deck, boom. Then uh, declare attack, take one damage. And you can guarantee that damage. Now the um, the second ability is pay two, ditch three cards in hand, and you can only use this card one the effect once per turn. Um, when this card reverses a card in front of it, and uh, you have uh, two or more key characters on the field, restand this card and attack again. So basically, you can just restand it, like, like declare attack, burn, um, reverse the character, uh, pay two, ditch three cards. Restand, do the same thing again, burn, attack, and basically that's uh, you're attacking four times. Um, so basically, you can still do three markers on the field, but you only can use one of um, one level, uh, what do you call it? One second effect. So basically, you just want to get that guaranteed burn. So burn for three, restand, uh, burn for force one, kind of thing. So definitely a great card. Uh, four is way too much, guys. Don't run four, you, you don't need four. Um, three is probably the max you should go. Three or two, definitely a good number. Um, I'm actually thinking of going to two, so I can bring, put in another Onodera. But um, again, I'm not too sure yet. And I do like the th I do like three because uh, it gets in my hand faster, or I, I can I have like uh, a better chance of getting it. So definitely uh, three or two is a good number. Uh, climax wise, I'm running Gates. Obviously, I'm oh, not Gates. I'm sorry, Comeback. I'm running Comeback. And then I'm running two K ones. Um, again, I'm not too sure if I'm taking this out yet. Uh, I do like the two K one climax cards. It's just that the climax combo is with the uh, time machine. So um, I'm thinking of running a different climax combo, but at the same time, not sure yet. But um, I might just keep the two K ones in just because they're two K ones. But yeah, that's basically about it. Um, yeah, that's basically about it. I'm running, I think, seventeen zeros. Let me just recount again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 17 zeros. Then level 1, I'm running a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 level 1. That's a lot actually. Um, the reason being is because I have the events. Um, then level 2, only 2 of them. And then level 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. Uh, level 3, and then obviously 8 climaxes. But yeah, um, that's basically my current build right now. Again, I'm thinking I'm taking out the Time Machine Onodera for a better card. Or like a card that I know I'll be playing a lot. So um, definitely need to think what to put in now. But um, that's this is basically the deck I used during that match video. Um, I do think that the deck or the set is really, really good. It's just ridiculous in a really, really good way. Um, I I honestly could see like some banned cards in this deck, uh, or these cards go this set getting the ban list actually uh, really really just way too good, but um, definitely a, a deck that that could probably win WGP has a lot of potential of winning it, but um, yeah that's basically about it. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to uh, subscribe to us, like the videos, comment down below, and then um, <coughs> like our Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys later.